rock stars. Have you ever wanted to get squishy? Let's do it today. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Bri Rock 75. I am Brian Lee, and I am here today with another opening video of sorts for you. If you're new to our channel, then welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Be sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you become a part of the Rockstar family. Also hit that bell notification so you always know when I'm uploading new content. It's a lot of fun and we're here for it. If you are familiar with my channel, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you give me a thumbs up because that's like giving me a great big Disney hug and I kind of love it. <laughs> so today I have a different kind of opening video for you. We are doing Disney Mashems. Now, as you can see, it is just this little round ball, um, Disney Mashem. From what I can tell, this is a squishy, squeezy, mashy type toy. I did read that these have a water-based product inside, so I don't think it's a traditional squishy but it's probably along that lines. I've never seen these before. I have no idea what to expect or what to look like, but I do know that they have different versions and different series of these mashems. I have today, I got the Toy Story 4 mashems. So I'll show you here, pardon the glare of the ring light, but if you can see here, um, this just says mashems and our options, if hopefully it will focus for you, we have Bo Peep and Woody, there's Buzz, Forky, Ducky, and then a Mystery Glow in the Dark. And based off of the shape, I would say that's probably Bunny. If I remember from Toy Story 4, Bunny was kind of a bluish green color, right? He got blues and greens. So that would probably work well with Glow in the Dark, I'm assuming. Um, but I've never seen these. I don't know what they look like. I don't, I don't know how big they are. All I know is there are six in this Toy Story 4 series, and today we will be opening six different ones. Now, I got these at my local Walmart, and um, they had lots of them available. I don't think they were very well known. It could be just because of where my they were located at, at my Walmart. Uh, they were kind of down on the bottom shelf of the toy aisle, and I just happened to see them when I was looking for puzzles today. So... They did have this series, Toy Story 4. They also had The Lion King, and they had Frozen, the first one. Not Frozen 2, just Frozen. Uh, and I, I looked at kind of both of them, but I was drawn more to the Toy Story 4. Uh, but if you like this video, and if, if you guys give me comments about it and would like, then I will go get some of the others, and we can open up those on the channel too, just to see what they are. So there's absolutely no instructions on here as far as what to expect, what they are. It's just a ball that says mash them, squeeze them, squish them. Um, so yeah, we're just going to open it up and get right in see what we've got. So they do have a little pull tab here so that you can unwrap it. Clearly, it didn't work the way it was supposed to. <laughs> um, but with these mashems, as you can tell, it's a hard plastic, hard plastic ball. So there's absolutely no way that I could fill it and tell what I have in here. Hopefully I've got some different things and not all of the same thing. That would be horrible. Um, you can't see in it anywhere. And I did spend time peeking, trying to peek through that little hole right there, but I couldn't tell what was in there. So it truly is a blind opening. Let's see what the first one is. I think we just, oh, we just twist it. And it is in a bag, but I can see through the bag, and I can tell that I have Ducky. Okay, this is going to be weird. He's wrapped in plastic, and as you can tell, he's stuck to it. Okay. This is the weirdest texture. Originally, I thought that when I opened these, I could attach a little hook type thing to it, like maybe a um, like a little keychain hook or something, and then I could turn it into a Christmas tree ornament. But I don't think that's gonna work. This texture, it's one, like one of those squishy ball things. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yeah, you can kind of see there is liquid inside there. 
Um, so I don't know that that would work so well <laughs> for me to put on a Christmas tree or put a hook into. Um, and it's kind of, it's not incredibly sticky, but it's a little bit sticky. I, when I was a kid, and this was back in the 80s, there were toys that you could throw against the wall and they would stick to the wall and then slowly kind of crawl down. This has that texture. It has that kind of stickiness to it. Not enough to like stick on me or to stick to me really. As you can see it, it falls, it doesn't stick. Um, but if it falls on the floor, it's like on carpet, I think the carpet fibers would stick to it. I don't know, if you are a texture person and you don't do textures well, this would not be a thing for you. Um, this is not something I would suggest leaving out in a hot, like in a hot car. Here in Georgia, the Georgia summers, this would melt and I'd have a pile of rubber on my dashboard. I'd have a puddle of ducky or a ducky puddle. Anyway, um, it is cute, right? I mean, it, it's cute. It's like maybe an inch and a half tall. Um, he's got great big eyes. He is squishy, like I said, and he's got his little feet so that you can sit him up. And then there's the back. Just simple little ducky. So that's cute. Um, since this is not exactly what I thought it was, I'm not sure what I'll do with him. Maybe if I get the whole set, maybe I'll set some up on my shelves back here. These are my Vinylmations that was a collectible thing years ago at Disney. Um, and it's just the little Mickeys and all shapes. Maybe I'll do a video one day on, on my Vinylmation collection because it's kind of hard to get Vinylmations now. But maybe I can do things like this and kind of fill in the holes of the shelf with these things. So um, inside that egg, it does, it's just a little card, information card, um, just talks about the warnings, choking hazard, three years of age and old, or actually four years of age and older, blah, 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 okay? So kids and adults who put things in their mouth, this is not for you. All right, let's go to number two and see what we got. Any guesses? Uh, let's see, we got Ducky. So I'm gonna guess that this one is going to be hard to open. <laughs> no, I'm guessing that this one, well, I hope to get the glow in the dark one because I wanna see what that's about. I wanna see it. I always like the mystery. I wanna see what that is. So I'm hoping I get the glow in the dark one. That's the number one. Um, and then I would also like Buzz Lightyear. I think he would be really cool as well. All right, here we go. Let's see. We got the one I said, not my first hope, but my second hope. Can you tell? It's Buzz Lightyear. Let's peel him away here. There he is. That's actually really cute. If you can see him there, he's got a he's got a really determined little face on him there. Space Ranger. All right, we'll spin him around so you can see he's got his whole little outfit. This is actually pretty good detail on this little squishy toy. Um. That's cute. We got a little bitty body and a great big chin, right? So let's squish him. Oh, there he goes. Can blow out his head like that. Maybe make his eyeballs pop. Oh, look at that gross chin. <laughs> That's kind of funny. His liquid looks uh, blue. Can you see that? When we squeeze it, he's got like a purple blue color liquid in there. I don't know. But anyway, there's Buzz Lightyear. That's kind of cute. I'm not, I'm not hating it. Again, they're cute. I don't know that this is something I would necessarily want to always collect, but could be fun. I mean, maybe, right? Number three. So far, we're good. So far, we got two different ones. Two for two. So let's go for number three. See what we got. Tell me, is this something you would want to collect? Is this um, something that you and your kids would collect together? Maybe, oh, maybe they could be good bathtub toys for your kids. These would actually probably be really nice bathtub toys. I bet if you got them a little bit wet, they would stick good and you could stick them on the walls. They could play with them on the on the shower walls or something. That might be kind of cool. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Is this something that you would collect? If so, would you collect Toy Story? Would you collect Lion King? Or would you collect Frozen? You know, I kind of really want to see the Lion King ones now because they're going to be all animals. And I think that would be really cute. So I might have to do Lion King next. We'll see. Let me know if you want to see Lion King opening. We can make it happen. All right, here goes number three. 
Which one are you hoping for? Give me your pixie dust. Uh, oh, looks like a cowboy to me. And it is, we've got Woody. Woody looks like he is taking a squat. Oh my, okay. Well, he kind of, Woody's weird. Woody's just a big old head and feet. Do you see that? It's like hat, head, chin, and feet. But as we spin him around, you can see the rest of his body there. It does look like he's kind of squatting on a squatty potty, right? <laughs> Just saying. You see he's got a little bandana in the back, but of course his chin is so big, you can't see the bandana from the front. Um, I, I, like Bu I like Buzz Lightyear in this series more. Woody is okay. He's got orange eyes. That's different. Um, his eyes match his shoes. So let's give him a squeeze and see what happens. Yeah, his hat doesn't squeeze too well. But let's squeeze his face. Okay, he's just got the clear liquid inside. You can kind of see it bubble up there. Can you hear it? ASMR. Now, <laughs> do you do ASMR? I've never really gotten into it. Most ASMR really gets on my nerves. So I apologize if that got on your nerves. But if you really liked it, yay. All right. So there is our Woody. So that's cool. At least we have Buzz and Woody. So we have that little set. But yeah, Woody's, um, Woody is definitely taking a squat on a toilet, I would say. That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Number four. Let's squish them, mash them. Maybe we'll throw them at the wall and see if they stick. Uh. These things, I can tell you this. I'm going to say bathtub toy would be the absolute best thing to do with these because they're going to collect so much dust and they are just sticky enough that it's going to sit and you will not be able to get that dust off of here. I can just see that happening right now. It's going to be a cleaning nightmare, especially if you're someone who dusts all the time and keeps things nice and tidy. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare for you. So this would definitely be a bathtub toy or a pool toy. You could put them in the pool, throw them, let people dive to the bottom to get them. Could be fun. Maybe make a game out of it. Close your eyes, pick them up with your toe. Guess who you got? Do y'all pick stuff up with your toes? Am I the only monkey boy that does that? I don't know. Here we go. Number three or number four. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Y'all, we are doing so good. We've got four different ones out of four different eggs, balls, pods. Anyway, this one is Bo Peep. And Bo Peep has the same problem that Woody does. <laughs> she got a big old head and a big old chin and nobody. She got nobody. All right. But she is cute. It's kind of... Um, I don't know about that face. That's kind of a manly face. Isn't that a manly face for Bo Peep? I like her big poof of hair right there. There's her staff and her bow. All right, and she's got her pigtails back there in the back. Right there. I guess they couldn't fit her sheep in there. But there's Bo Peep. Little squishy squishy. Yeah, not so much on her head. Squish her face. Her your liquid looks yellow. Woo, blow out her eye. Wah, wah. Looks like one of those cartoons, right? But there you can see the yellow liquid inside of her. I wonder why the liquid's all different colors. Maybe it has to do with the character. Maybe the, the type of color for that character. Or maybe it's just whatever they were using that day. I'm just thankful it's not red because that would be creepy if you squished on that and it was all red liquid filling up in there. That would be... <laughs> that'd be creepy. All right, here is number five. So far, so good. We've gotten four out of four. So the only thing we have left now is Forky. We need Forky. If you see Forky right there, that one should be cute. And then we need the Mystery Glow in the Dark, which, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's going to be um, Bunny based off of the shape. We'll see if we get it. Here we go. paper. Uh, I think we got another Bo Peep. Yep. We got another Bo Peep. Another manly Bo Peep. 
Don't you think? Isn't that face kind of harsh? Not that, I mean, you know, not that men have one type of face and women have a different, but I'm just saying it's kind of um, very strong angles, and I've never seen Bo Peep drawn with such sharp angles before. You know, she's usually drawn really softer and rounder, so that was a design choice, right? All right, squishy, squishy. Okay, so we got two Bo Peeps, one Buzz, one Woody, and one Ducky. And this is our last one. I really want something different. Um, if, if I'm gonna open these and, and start some kind of something with them, then I would like to have different ones at least, right? So I can set them up or something. Um, but out of the two that's left, out of Forky and the Mystery Glow in the Dark, I would really prefer the Mystery Glow in the Dark just because I wanna see what that is. That's all, I just wanna see what it is. So here we go, fingers crossed. And womp womp, that one fell. But we have another Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. There we go. So this is the first Buzz Lightyear that I opened because the other Buzz Lightyear has landed in infinity and beyond. Give me a minute, I'll pick him up. All right, so we got him off the floor. He's still wrapped in his plastic. Um, but I'm going to try to get them close to the camera so you can see what I was talking about. Remember when I said they're just sticky enough that things are going to stick to them. If you can see there, those carpet fibers right here on this part of him that was exposed, he just hit the bedroom carpet and rolled and he's already got carpet fibers stuck to him. So that's what I figured when I felt them, they were just sticky enough that they're going to get dirty and gross real easy. This is the one that fell. This is the one we have now. So, squishy, squishy, squishy. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of disheartening. Um, he barely hit the floor and rolled around, and now he's got gunk on him. And the carpets are clean. It's just, you know, carpet fiber. Um, it's just gross, right? So I have a feeling if I put him on a shelf for display, this is going to get dusty. Um, anytime I go to clean and I wipe something down with a towel, it's going to stick to him and all those fibers are going to get on him. If I try to use a feather duster, that's just going to stick. Um, the really only way to clean these, I think, would be to put them underwater. So if you're going to collect these, they might as well become bathtub toys. That's the only way that I think you're going to be able to uh, keep these things clean because that's kind of sticky and gross. But anyway, as you can see, he's got the same purple liquid inside of him as the other Buzz did. So there you go. We got Buzz, we got Bo Peep, we got Woody, and we've got Ducky. All four there. Plus we got an extra Woody, uh, extra Buzz and an extra Bo Peep as well. But there's the four that we got um, that are all different. <laughs> Woody really looks like he ate a bad bowl of chili, doesn't he? I mean, so maybe he does need to be in the bathtub, just saying. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that. That was kind of fun to open. I kind of enjoyed those. Again, the texture is a little bit off-putting. I'm not a big fan of that sticky texture. Um, it doesn't bother me, but it's not something I just want to hold on to. As far as being a squishy toy, something that I want to squish and, and squeeze and play with, this would not be it. Um... I, like I said, I would probably put this in a bathtub or a pool or something wet like that. But if this thing hits dirt, it's over. It's over. These are at your local Walmart, or at least they're at my local Walmart. There are some Lion King ones. There are frozen ones there as well. Leave me a comment down below. If you want to see what the others might look like, let me know. I am not... Um, so upset with them that I wouldn't open them. I certainly would. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which series you would like to see. If we uh, want to open up The Lion King or open up Frozen, I will certainly do it. Just let me know. It is up to you guys. But until we see each other again, go out into the world, do good, be good, and feel good, and be the change that you want to see. It's up to you, all right? See you later, guys. Bye.